Hey, what's going on everybody? Zach here with Brand Wild Pickups. And today we are gonna be doing a fun little project. Uh, we're gonna try to make a PAF, right? So Jared and I make, you know, PAF replicas pretty much every day. Uh, but what I have here is some original PAF parts. So I was strolling Reverb the other day, uh, looking at, you know, parts and pickups and Gibsons like I typically do. And I saw an ad that said Gibson PAF parts, which immediately piques my interest. And I'm looking, I'm like, you know, that stuff actually kind of looks legit. And uh, so I got it and I got here today. And sure enough, we have an original PAF faceplate. These are hard to come by by themselves. I, you really don't see this very often. Uh, it's it's unusual to see just the individual parts. Usually it's a whole pickup. Uh, but it's actually in pretty decent shape. Um, most of the decal's gone, but there's enough of it there to know what it is. Uh, black light's real good. We got our tooling marks. Uh, somebody put a little solder right here. Uh, that wouldn't have been original, but that's not a big deal either. Uh, but other than that, got a nice uh, length original lead. Um... Uh, the mounting screw holes aren't reamed out or anything. They look good. And so far, looking promising, right? So then I'm looking a little closer, and I see a magnet. Good. That looks like an original magnet. And it is. Uh, you can see this one actually has a cool little kind of a notch uh, cut out of it. I don't know. I've actually seen that before. I have another one that looks just like this. I believe this is a short magnet. Let me verify that here. Yep. So this is an original uh, short Elnico 5, probably from the early 60s. Oh, excuse me. And then, looking a little closer, and we had bobbins, uh, which is cool. So on the slug bobbin, unfortunately, all the wire was already peeled off of it. Uh, but it is in pretty good shape. It is original. And uh, so we'll just have to rewind that and that'll be ready to go. And then on the screw bobbin, it's in a little bit worse shape. Uh, you see it's kind of flanged out a little bit, uh, but it does have that beautiful original plain enamel coil wire on it. Unfortunately, it is missing the, the original start lead, which is a problem because uh, on a PAF, the start lead comes out of the bottom of the pickup, and this must have got yanked out or something. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So that's the start lead. Oops. That's the start lead, and it comes out of the bottom of the bobbin. Uh, whereas on the later patent numbers and stuff like that, it would have came out of the side uh, when they went to the, the white finish leads and all that. If it was one of those, we might have been able to fix this coil as it is, but unfortunately, being a PAF, we're going to have to do something with it. So I think what we're going to try to do here is take the coil and try to unwind this plain enamel onto a spool and then, you know, see if we can get all that without breaking it. Uh, this wire is pretty, pretty fragile. Um, but yeah, we'll unwind this onto a spool and then we'll see if we can rewind it back onto the coil with a new start lead. Um, we'll have to see how that works out. I do have an original section of the lead here. That probably was a uh, finished lead to one of these, I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, we got some of the original Phillips head bobbin screws. We got the maple spacer. We got all that stuff. So we're missing a couple parts, obviously. We're missing the slugs and the keeper bar and uh, pole pieces and all that. Uh, but I mean, we're in a pickup shop. We have those things here. And also, we have this pickup here, which is an early Gibson patent number, um, early 60s, probably almost the same exact era as this uh, PAF, because there was kind of a crossover there. Uh, and it's actually pretty nice. It was rewound at one time. Uh, Jared did the rewind on this a long time ago. And uh, it actually has the original tape on it that he put back on. It's got the original slugs, original pole pieces. It's pretty nice. But the base plate's kind of jacked up. Um, the feet were broken off at one point and kind of soldered back on. And it works. It's fine. But this plate is really nice. So maybe we'll put the nice pickup on the nice base plate and make a really good pickup out of it. And then build another pickup uh, with this kind of janky base plate here. 
which will still, you know, sound just fine. It'll just be a little bit, you know, sketchy on the things, but you can solder these feet back on and it actually is pretty stable. Um, so yeah, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that. And, uh, what I'm going to work on is getting this coil unwound and see if we can get all this wire onto a spool. Uh, so we will update you again at some point, uh, on what I end up doing with all this stuff. So catch you guys later. All right, guys, check this out. Here we go. We have a start lead again. Uh, so I was able to successfully remove the plain enamel uh, from the coil and uh, we were able to get it wound back on there. And that is just a perfect coil. It looks beautiful. It reads 3.6K, which is perfect because I was aiming for this pickup to be kind of, you know, the mid to upper seven. So that is just spot on. And uh, man, you just can't beat that. So we're going to get this one uh, leaded up with, uh, we may as well use the original finish lead since we have it. Uh, we'll get it taped up and then we're going to move on to the slug coil. Uh, obviously the slug coil will have all new wire because there's none here. No biggie, we'll just throw that on the winder. I'm going to wind this one a little bit hotter. So we got our offset as well as, you know, just making the pickup a little bit hotter. Uh, so yeah, man, really cool. I was not expecting to be able to reuse that original wire when I bought this thing. I, that's crazy. Really happy about that. Uh, so we're going to go get the slug coil going and we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so we got the slug coil all wound up here. Um, I used a different machine for the slug coil than I did for the screw coil because uh, that's how Gibson did it back in the day. That's how we do our 59 clones and uh, that's just the way to do it, right? Uh, so I wound this one a little hotter, uh, about 5,000 turns. It's probably end up being, you know, 3.7, 3.8, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get some tape on this, get it leaded up. And uh, one interesting thing I wanted to show you guys is... Uh, when I got this bobbin, it was already peeled off. All the wire was off of it. And if you're looking to spot a rewind on an original PAF, always look on the side of the bobbins. I don't know how well that's going to focus, but if you can tell, there's little kind of kind of indentations right there. That would be from a razor blade and somebody not being careful enough when they were peeling the wire and they kind of dug into the bottom or the bobbin a little bit. And uh, obviously... Uh, the wire color on original PAFs, it did vary a little bit, but usually it was more of a maroon reddish sort of color, uh, which you can see on that original screw bobbin there. Uh, usually the newer plain enamel is pretty dark. Uh, we've seen 50s plain enamel that dark as well, but uh, you know, if you have some really dark plain enamel and you see, you know, marks there and the tape doesn't look quite right, it's probably a rewound coil. Um, and this one is. Uh, but yeah, I, I tried to clean it up the best I could. It, it'll look fine, you know. It's not that big of a deal. It's, I'm keeping this, so that doesn't bother me any. Um, so, with the slugs, I did steal something from our parts pickup here. I decided to go ahead and not do the base plate uh, transplant. Um, I'm going to keep this whole, you know, PAF thing together because I do believe it was all from the same pickup. Um... But we were missing slugs, uh, so I did steal the original slugs out of this pickup. I put some uh, reproductions in here. Uh, like I said, this is just kind of a thrown together parts pickup, so it's not a big deal. Um, what did I do? Oh, here they are. Um, so we do have uh, some original slugs that'll go in here. Uh, I took the keeper bar as well out of this pickup because it's original. I was going to use the pole pieces, uh, but I forgot these are chrome, and I don't want chrome again parts pick up. I forgot what all I had on there. So with that being said, uh, like I said, we're going to get this leaded up and we're going to start assembling. So we're going to have a pickup here soon. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, here we go. It's all done. We have a PAF pickup now. Really cool. Uh, so we just started this video, you know, with a pile of old parts and now we got a really cool pickup out of it. Uh, like I said, this is my personal pickup. I'm going to be keeping this and uh, putting it in something uh, I have a 57 Gibson ES-175 that's missing a PAF. I put it in there. I have a few Les Pauls. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, this thing is 
pretty much original at this point. I mean, as far as all the parts go. Uh, obviously, it has been rewound, which is unfortunate. But you know what? This is like the cheapest PAF ever, guys. I got a great deal on all those parts. Uh, so I did put some pole pieces in it. I'm not 100% certain if these are original. Uh, they were in the box with the pickup parts. Uh, it's tough to tell. They look right, so they could be. Um, I have some original nickel pole pieces at home if I really wanted to uh, be 100% certain. Uh, but we got our original slugs in there, original magnet, original keeper bar, base plate, you know. We have our original coil wire on the screw, uh, screw bob in there. That was the win of the day, let me tell you guys, that was cool. Uh, so I guess when whoever was fiddling with this pickup, uh, they must have just yanked that start lead right out of the bottom. Because when I got to the bottom of the coil, I found this, which is the piece of tape, the original tape that was over the connection and you could see where that, that lead just ripped right out. So man, that was a win and a half to get all that wire off of there successfully and back on. Uh, yeah, got a rewound uh, slug coil. Uh, we do have all original tape on here as well. Uh, thanks to Jared, I kind of raided his stash. Uh, yeah, so original tape, we got our decal, all the screws are original. It's just a really, really nice pickup, guys. Really happy with how it turned out. That's uh, about 7.5K-ish. It might drop a little bit. Probably end up being 7.4 tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, can't beat that. It's got a nice long lead on it. I really can't beat that. I mean, this is what you would call a player-grade PAF. You know, uh, collectors might turn their nose up at it, but it is just fine for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, I've never really done anything like this on camera before. Uh, Jared does his rewind time show, which is kind of similar to this. Uh, but yeah, we restored an original PAF. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, we have more PAF content coming. Uh, I guess we'll show it to you guys real quick just because we have it over here. Uh, so this is an original PAF. Another one. But this one's really clean. And I mean really clean. Like this thing looks brand new. Uh, and this is a long magnet as well. Uh, yeah, this belongs to a buddy of mine, uh, came in for some authentication, and uh, it is authentic. And we are going to do some fun things with that. We're going to make a clone of it, and uh, we'll show you guys that as well. And we're going to do an A-B test. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I say, more PAF content to come. Uh, remember to check out BrandonWoundPickups.com, uh, Jared Brandon's Rewind Time Show, and guitar knobs and you know social media and all that good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching i uh, hope you watched to the end if you did congratulations you had to listen to me ramble all day thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys next time take it easy